I'm Chris Meyer with the University of Miami School of Architecture and director of the Lou Lab. Our lab's mission is challenging how we build through this idea of thinking local and acting local. So the state of Florida is approximately 50% forest. So we are looking to be more active and utilizing the forest as a resource to solve our local building needs. Florida Forest Service has in its mission protection of forest resources. It's a renewable resource that can be used and replanted and managed sustainably and then harvest again. House in the Garden Project is a frost laminated timber structure. It is the first mass timber building built in Miami-Dade County. The building utilizes regional materials and regional manufacturing. It's just one way in which we can say, let's look at the entire system. If the Florida Forest Service is helping make sure that we have a resource from the standpoint of building, can we utilize that resource in a very productive and healthy way? Forest owners actually need the market to be able to replant the trees after they harvest. CLT is one example of the new products coming on the market, generally known as mass timber. From the standpoint of carbon emissions, they require less input to produce into a finished product. And then through the rest of their life cycle, they also store carbon when they are part of the buildings. Our relationship with the Florida Forest Service is one of bringing this message to places that maybe they weren't reaching before, to design communities or development, cutting new territory for policy. One of the best partners that we've had during this process has been Sean and Chris Meyer with the Lou Lab at the University of Miami. While we were there to provide a lot of the technical resources available to them, it was really Sean and Chris that were having the difficult conversations with the building officials, managing the meetings, pulling all parties together to make sure that we would be there. Um, so they were really instrumental in terms of helping to get this accepted. House in the Garden exists within the neighborhood in Miami, Florida, in which is not necessarily typical in a contemporary fashion to build with wood. It was able to confront in a certain positive light the existing policies that are in place for uh, wood structures in high velocity hurricane zones. When we were going through the approval process here in Miami-Dade County, the testing that was done on the tornado shelters, the velocity and mass in which the missile was projected and fired at the mass timber panels were a factor of two to three, depending on whether it was a wall panel or a roof panel. And so once we were able to supply that information to Miami-Dade, they saw it instantly. There was no question about it that it was far superior than what the minimum requirements are here in Miami-Dade. We're very excited that these new products have come on the market and are being utilized. And we're very happy to work with University of Miami School of Architecture who took on themselves to actually construct a building and show uh, the general public, uh, the rest of us, how this product can be used. In terms of the building erection, the first day uh, the building walls were put in place. On the second day, the roof panels were flown in. The quick timeline allowed the building to kind of negotiate the environmental pressures of the South Florida rains and, and wind. Their vision of using Southern Yellow Pine and mass timber products in their construction projects, educating their own peers, architects, and then engineers and construction industry as a whole, creates this amazing uh, opportunity for our forests. Growing trees, harvesting trees, manufacturing CLTs, other mass timber products, constructing buildings, and then we start again. The mass timber building is a huge win for everybody here in the Southeast. We're helping the design community, we're helping the landowners, we're helping the people who are working in the sawmills. We're providing sustainable buildings in a time where we're very aware of our carbon footprint, and mass timber buildings really help us achieve those goals. House in the Garden embraces this idea of forest to building. So we are not just thinking about the building as just this thing that exists on the project site, but it's something that is part of a large ecological net or construction ecology. As we are building with wood, that means we have to think about the forest. If we leave the forest out, we've left out an enormous part of this agenda for the mass timber market to embrace a more comprehensive approach to energy and environment and to address a lot of building needs within the Southeastern United States.